Well, it looks like Renee Zellweger has to be canceled. She's committed a heinous crime. She's committed the heinous crime of not being fat enough. Here's the headline. Renee Zellweger responds to criticism after donning fat suit and prosthetics for latest role. So here's the actress, and uh, she's not fat. But they wanted her to play uh, a role in which she had to be fat, so she put on a fat suit to be fat. And uh, I guess that's hate, I guess, these days. So plus-size writer uh, Sarah Alexander told Metro UK, and keep in mind here, she's a plus-size writer, so so you can go ahead and just assume that she speaks for all plus-size people. But anyway, she told Metro UK that there were plenty of talented plus-size actresses that could have been hired instead and asked why they were overlooked and a fat suit considered a viable option. What? Ah, good afternoon, sir, and how are we today? Better. Better? Better get a bucket. I'm going to throw up. Renee Zellweger is a big name, and they want people to watch the show. And the bigger the name, the more people will watch the show. And I don't know, maybe they just thought she also she was the best actress. I don't know. I just think that uh, it's acting, and who gives a shit? But anyway, uh, this... Uh, this plus-size writer said that for Zellweger to masquerade as a plus-size person is damaging, fatphobic, and potentially triggering to other plus-size people. Well, what isn't triggering these days? Everything is. How is it fatphobic? I don't understand that. They didn't take the character and make the character thin instead of fat. They just made her look like the actual person who who's actually a real person. There, they wanted her to look like that. So they did. It's called filmmaking. That's it. And this uh, potentially triggering. Well, I mean, somebody could be offended, so the whole world has to stop. I mean, it seems like he just can't win. I mean, here you had this actress being attacked for uh, wearing a revealing outfit at the MTV Awards because her being too hot was triggering. Everything's triggering. What about, like, Nature shows, like, can you still have, like, documentaries that have, like, hippos in them? Or, like, elephants? Or whales? Or walruses? Because, you know, that could be potentially triggering. Anyway, this lunacy continues. Quote, it seems like she has not considered the effects this will have on fat people and is unaware and or naive that she is adding to the stigma fat people already face on a daily basis. Now, the thing that amazes me, they act like this is something that's being done to them. Like this, no, she did it to herself. She ate too much. Look, I need to lose some weight. I don't feel stigmatized. But if I did, I'd say, well, that's my own fault. I need to exercise more and eat healthier. And don't tell me it's your metabolism. Hard for anybody to metabolize five liters of ice cream every night. That's bullshit. So don't act like you're oppressed or something. You're in a position that... 99.9999999% of humans throughout history would have loved to have been in, having access to too many calories. Throughout almost all of human history, starvation was a normal and constant threat. So stop complaining. If anything, you're lucky. You're fortunate. And if it makes you feel bad about yourself, well, that's nobody else's fault. It's entirely in your hands. Anyway, please subscribe, like, and share. That really helps me out. Sharing uh, makes a big difference. I know some people share my content. Thank you for doing that. I will see you next time.